Hi, I'm going to show you how to install a LAN 200 in the Netafim controllers, the NLCS, the NLCD, and the NLC uh, SH. Uh, we're going to need a small screwdriver with a Phillips head screw. The LAN 200 has, comes with a supplied with a ribbon cable. What we need to, need to do is take the power off of the controller. We're going to remove the panel, remove the controller, and I'll show you how you're going to mount the LAN 200 to connect to the NLC controllers. Now that I've removed the controller and the bottom panel, we're going to install the LAN 200. One of the things, a couple things I want to make sure you understand is that the ribbon cable is plugged into the top left hand terminal. The screw is going to go into this only port here, but most important, you want to make sure these plastic standoffs are located. Because what happens is if it's not located on the board, when you put the, install the board, it's a chance that it could ground out. There's a one screw. All we're going to do is take the screwdriver to the terminal post, snug it down, it's that easy. I'm going to plug the CAT5 connection in. All right. Next, we'll mount the controller, re reapply the transformer power, plug it in, and uh, we're ready to get the LAN 200 working. The ribbon cable is going to plug into the top left-hand terminal. It can only fit one way, it's slotted, and what you're going to do is you're going to make sure it's over the pins. You're going to push down on the terminal, and then we're going to mount the controller. So now that I've mounted the controller with the two screws, I plug the power supply in. The CAT5 cable is plugged in. I'm going to take the power cord, plug it in, activate the uh, switch for the power for the controller, and we'll be up and running. Um, next, you need to uh, contact your local distributor and make sure that the real net application is filled out so we can get the uh, card activated. So, in summary, we removed the panel, the controller, we mounted the LAN 200 on that one standoff, we made sure that the ribbon cable was plugged into the top left hand corner, we brought the ribbon cable up to the proper terminal on the back of the controller, mounted, remounted the controller, put the CAT5 cable in, put the power source back into the controller, plug the controller back in, and we're going to submit the real net application to your local distributor. That will be submitted and will take up to 24 hours to have your card activated and you'll be up and running.